Now, the other vehicle we talked about is the gel. And what's really neat about the gel is we don't worry about it evaporating so quickly. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 said, okay. Probably a little more than we want. I'm going to need to wrap it up. That's the intro right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, you just wait for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, yeah. Okay. Hi, welcome to Medical Monks, where your care is our highest calling. I'm Nikki, and today we're going to take a look at a family of products from our partners at Bravita. Uh, this is something that is probably a standard thing you'd want to have in your medicine cabinet at home. It's also something that is really imperative for uh, taking care of a loved one who has a chronic wound that is either you're just beginning to uh, work at that healing, or you've got a stalled out wound and you're wondering what can you do. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on the, the highest end or or the most sophisticated of wound care, the technology that goes into that, the alginates, the silvers, all of the collagen products you use to help rebuild new skin, all of that will not work if your wound bed has not been addressed and it isn't being taken care of at the most basic level. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about biofilm. Biofilm actually creates its own kind of helmet. It creates its own um, environment, its own colonies, really. And their job is to make sure that they continue to make more of themselves, just like everything else on this planet. So really, the goal here is to find a product that gets in there, busts it all up, and prevents it from regrowing. If you can get the biofilm under control, it's at that point that you're gonna finally start seeing some progress in that wound healing and a decrease in the amount of time that we're spending on healing that wound and the cost to it. So let's get into it. So these particular products, Anacept, come in two different delivery vehicles. One is a gel and one is a spray. This one happens to have a finger spray on here, so. Um, nice light mist. The other vehicle for that is a spray bottle. This is for a little bit more of an aggressive mechanical debriding of your wound. You're going to get a stronger spray coming out of that. Whereas the mist is probably going to be something you want to use to continue to keep a wound moist. And we're, we're past the point of actually cleaning it out and debriding it from any of the actual physical junk you can see. Now the whole point in all of this is to keep your wound moist. So a couple of things that this is going to help with is um, not just removing mechanically any debris, dirt, or um, necrotic skin, but not only does this include a broad spectrum antimicrobial, but most importantly, it does not kill the new cells that are just beginning to grow. So really that's what we are after. It doesn't do any good to throw something that has a high uh, pH level at your wound if it's going to destroy the new stuff that we're trying so desperately to grow in there too. So the really great thing about this, it's been clinically tested and proven in labs that it will kill all the really bad stuff and it will also leave all the baby cells that are starting to grow in there fresh and pink alone. How to apply this? You can go ahead and spray it directly on a wound. Um, again, as we said, it won't bother the, the clean and healthy and living tissue, so it doesn't really matter if it gets on the outside border of that wound. You can apply it to a gauze. If you need to and you're worried about keeping your that wound specifically really moist, you can apply it to the gauze, put it directly on your wound with a secondary dressing. Cool thing about the gel is that you can fill up that entire wound bed. You can make sure that absolutely every area is covered. And if I was you know, treating uh, one of my loved ones, um, I would be using a glove on here. But you can see it has a nice clean texture there and there's going to be no residuals. That means there's no fake dyes or anything in there. The point of the gel is that it will stay longer and you don't have to worry about it evaporating and it continues to offer the same protections and the same actions as the spray, but uh, it's just in a more solid form and it's going to stick in there a lot longer, a lot less attention having to be given. You're not changing dressings as frequently. If you found any of that content helpful, be sure to like and follow, hit the bell below and you'll get plenty more where that came from. Thanks for joining us.